this video we are going to talk about the simplest form of a polygon a triangle all polygons can be divided into triangles or in other words they are formed by combining two or more triangles thus understanding the basic properties of triangles and the types is important here is an outline of the topics we will cover in this video definition of a triangle triangle classification by type and length of sides special cases of right angle triangle triangle area formula key takeaways and an application quiz let us first define what a triangle is in simple words a triangle is a polygon that has three angles but when does a closed figure has three angles the answer is when it has three line segments joined end to end thus we can say that a triangle is a polygon which has three sides three angles and three vertices and the sum of all three angles of a triangle equals to 180 degree as we have now defined what a triangle is let's move on to the basic properties of a triangle there are four basic properties of a triangle firstly as you can see the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree which is called the angle sum property of a triangle secondly the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side thirdly the side opposite to the largest angle of a triangle is the largest side and lastly any exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles also known as exterior angle property moving on Let's discuss the types of triangle. The triangles are classified based on the internal angles and the length of its sides. Based on the angle measurement, triangles are classified into three types: acute, right, and obtuse angle triangle. Based on the length of its sides, triangles are classified into three types: scalene, isosceles, and equilateral triangle. Let us discuss each type in detail. classification by internal angles a triangle that has all three angles less than 90 degree is an acute angle triangle thus all the angles of an acute angle triangle are called acute angles a triangle that has one angle that measures exactly 90 degree is a right angle triangle the other two angles of a right angle triangle are acute angles and the opposite side to the right angle is the largest side of the triangle called hypotenuse you should also note that the sum of square of the perpendicular sides is equal to the square of hypotenuse for example ac square plus cb square equals to ab square also known as pythagoras theorem thus if a triangle satisfies the pythagoras condition then it is a right angle triangle A triangle that has one angle that measures more than 90 degree is an obtuse angle triangle. Classification by length of sides. A triangle that has all three sides of different lengths is a scalene triangle. And since all the three sides are of different lengths, we can derive that all the three angles will also be different. A triangle that has two sides of the same length and the third side of a different length is isosceles triangle thus we can derive that the angles opposite the equal side measures the same a triangle which has all the three sides of the same length is equilateral since all the three sides are of the same length all the three angles will also be equal and each interior angle of an equilateral triangle equals 60 degree Apart from the properties discussed there are two special cases of right angle triangles first 45 45 90 90 triangle in this triangle two angles measures 45 degree and the third angle is a right angle the sides of the triangle will be in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to square root of 2 respectively this is also called an isosceles right angle triangle since two angles are equal second 30 60 90 triangle in this triangle one angle is 90 degree and the angles of the triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 
The sides opposite these angles will be in the ratio 1 is to square root of 3 is to 2 respectively. This is also called a scalene right angle triangle since all three angles are different. After discussing the properties and types of triangle, let's highlight the formula for calculating the area of a triangle. The area of any triangle is one half into base into height, whereas the area of a right angle triangle equals to one half into the product of two perpendicular sides. To sum it all, triangles are classified into two categories, classification by angles, which includes acute, right and obtuse angle triangles, and classification by sides, which includes scalene, isosceles and equilateral triangles. The sum of all interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degree. The sum of all exterior angle of any triangle is equal to 360 degree. An exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angles. The sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the length of the third side. The difference between the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is always less than the length of the third side. The side opposite to the smallest interior angle is the shortest side and vice versa. The side opposite to the largest interior angle is the longest side and vice versa. The height of the triangle is equal to the length of the perpendicular drop from a vertices to its opposite side. And this side is considered the base. Now that you are familiar with the properties of the triangle, let's put your learning to a test. Question 1. In an isosceles triangle DEF, if an interior angle D equals 100 degree, then what is the value of angle F? 20, 40, 60, 80 or 100 degree? Question 2. In a right angle triangle ABC, BC equals 26 units and AB equals 10 units. If BC is the longest side of the triangle, then what is the area of triangle ABC? 120, 130, 240, 260 or 312 square unit. Check out the detailed solution by clicking on the link available in the description.